Hi, my name is Connie. I'm a college professor and in my spare time I love to read. So with this video I wanted to talk about one of my all-time favorite books. This is The Woman's Room by Marilyn French. This was published in 1977 by uh, Summit Books, a division of uh, Simon & Schuster. So I read, I've read this book many times uh, in my uh, early 20s and it's about uh, the main character is a woman named Myra. The book is split into two parts. In the first part, Myra is experiencing life as a, a housewife and wife and mother in the 1950s. And it's about her relationships with uh, the other women in her neighborhood who are also housewives. And then Myra, she struggles kind of against what's expected of her because she went to college and uh, she she sort of feels trapped in her life. So she struggles against it when she finally kind of settles into her, her life. Then her husband informs her that he wants a divorce because he's been having an affair. So I think the line in the book is something like, my review the divorce as being thrust out in the snow, thrust out of the igloo uh, in the middle of winter. There's a lot of snow to run around in, but all of it is cold. So in the second half of the book, she goes on to graduate school and she, it's about her friendships with the women, the women graduate students there. I think it's at Harvard in the English department and their relationship and their relationships with their significant others. And Myra finds uh, love again with a man named Ben, but it doesn't work out because one of the, the to me, one of the themes of the book is that in that, in the 1970s, I guess the year when it, when it was published, the author didn't feel like it was possible for women in heterosexual relationships to have successful love with a man who, and keep their professional identities. Uh, because the, the man Myra falls in love with at, in graduate school, it turns out he just, he also wants a housewife. He doesn't really uh, want her to have her own career. So that has to, so there's um, no happy ending in terms of love. Anyway, so I wanted to, it was really hard to pick a favorite passage, but I settled on just a couple short passages from the first half of the book about Myra's friendship with a woman named Bliss. It's a woman she she's very close to, and she thinks Bliss is her friend. Bliss is not her friend. Bliss is uh, secretly very duplicitous, and she's having an affair with another friend's husband, with Adele, who's another character, Adele's husband, Paul. And Myra, the main character, learns of this one night at a, at a party. So... Uh, Bliss and her lover, Paul, scheme to, to keep their secret. And in the process, Myra, the main character, gets betrayed. And so this is the moment when Myra finds out that she's been betrayed by Bliss, a woman she considers she had thought was her friend. <clears throat> For some weeks in the fall, Bliss stopped in only once or twice a week. She had been distracted all summer, humming and off buying paint. For a while, she didn't stop in at all. Then suddenly, it seemed, she was busy when Myra stopped in to see her. Uh, she was spending much time on her house, painting the living room, making new drapes for it, painting the bedroom, making a new bedspread, new lampshades, new pale pink opaque curtains. Finally, Myra challenged her, asking her what was wrong, what had happened. Bliss hummed and raised her eyebrows. Nothing was wrong. Nothing had changed. She was just busy. Myra went home with a numb spot in the middle of her forehead, which she had thought of as love and support, had just simply stopped, stopped with no reason or at least no reason given. Then fast forwarding a bit, one blustery January day as Myra was removing the frozen bed sheets from the laundry line, Adele came out her back door to shake a dust mop. Myra hailed her, Adele looked up, looked straight at her, and turned and went back in the house. Then Myra knew. She thought about it on many evenings, sitting up late in the dark with a snifter of brandy and smoking. She worked it out that Paul, it's Bliss's lover, and Adele's husband, Paul, Paul's reputation was deserved. He had had affairs and Adele knew it, but what could she do about it? With all those kids and alimony payments being what they were, she and the children would have to live like paupers. That is, if she even considered divorce. Someone who would not use birth control was not likely to use, to use divorce. That in and of itself, that in itself gave Paul enormous freedom. And then fast forwarding ahead. Myra thought bitterly about the two of them, Bliss and Paul, sitting together, plotting it giggling. So it's betrayal. Um, so anyway, it's, I uh, can't say enough good things about the book, really terrific. Um, so check it out if you're looking for a good read. So that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, happy reading and I'll see you next time.